I am pretty proud of myself for taking that shot on my own. Hey, how you going? Hope you're having a shit one. You know what I just realized today? We haven't gone out and shot. Like, just you and me, for a long time. Sometimes when I'm driving around, I like scout locations. Not even sometimes, all the time. When I'm driving around, I'm looking for photography locations. The only thing is, I forgot to mark this spot. I think I have a rough idea of what it is and where it is. But it's like a, it's like a train that runs past and there's some stairs. So the stairs walk up right where the train sort of is, and then there's a walkway next to the train line. And I think it'd be really cool to take a long exposure there. But since it's just you and me shooting tonight, in other words, physically just me shooting, um, I've got no one to take the photo of me, and I want to get like a portrait of myself, or like a self-portrait pretty much, of me sitting there. Um, I'm gonna wear the yellow jacket again. Let's just make a move. Definitely the spot. I drove past here a while ago. I didn't actually know it was a bike path. So there you go, you learn something new every day. I still think we'll be able to get the train in the shot if I set the camera up like here and then shoot just back there. We'll figure it out when it's nighttime, but it's still way too bright now. We gotta wait it out. It's definitely dark enough to do this. A couple of things you're gonna need. It's one, a light source, like a train, because our shutter's gonna be open for a long period of time. That's why we're doing a long exposure tonight. There's a lot of light that's gonna come into the camera, and so when you leave your shutter open for a long period of time, that's how you get those light trails from any sort of vehicle, like a car, a train, a tram, or whatever. You're gonna need a tripod. I use the Manfrotto B3 tripod. Great tripods. For this shot that I'm trying, I'm gonna be using a wide angle lens. You don't have to do that. You can use any lens you want. I'm using a 16 to 35, the Sony one, and you're also gonna need your camera obviously. Since I'm by myself, this is going to be very difficult and kind of dodgy because I'm going to have to lean my tripod on these stairs here. And these stairs are the most annoying because I got these fucking holes that go straight through. So the tripod legs... Oh, see, so yeah, I just fucking knocked it over. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at look at my fucking tripod right now. This is my own fault. I should. I definitely should have brought someone along for this particular video. I should, could have done any other video, but self-portrait long exposure... Probably one of the hardest things I could do by myself. Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my timer on my camera. I'm gonna set an interval timer. So it's gonna take five photos of me. I'm gonna shoot maybe one to two and a half seconds on my shutter. I've got an f-stop of 5.6 because I want me to be in focus when I refocus it onto the grate as well as my background. I want my background to be in focus or relatively in focus as well. I'm, and I've got an ISO of 500 because that's just what keeps it relative and what keeps it all exposed. Look at that. I am pretty proud of myself for taking that shot on my own. Let's just go home and edit it together. So the exposure's up about two stops. How about we just chuck a preset on it? Bring my blues across to a bit more aqua. Oh, fuck yeah, this is actually pretty sick. I don't like the purple going on in the image here. So I think it's too much purple tint. Bring it down a bit. I'm gonna get the brush tool and I'm gonna brush around these grates and we're gonna add more clarity in it. More clarity, boom. But maybe more exposure as well. That's looking pretty spastic. The clouds, we've got such good clouds on, on a night like this. They look awesome. I don't think they need to be that blue though. That, that was too much blue. What's going on with the tone curve here? Sometimes at night, I like to bring the blacks out 100%. So it gives me a bit more room to play around with the tone curve. I don't really know what that means, but it just seems to work when I move the tone curve around. Like I crush the blacks a little bit with the shadows and then I bring my mid tones up a little bit and then put another line here and then bring my shadows back down again. So the difference, that's like before putting out, taking out the blacks or taking out 100% of the blacks, then after. Do you know what I mean? You see how I get like a little bit of pop there? So on the ground here, you can see there's a lot of greeny tinge. Not fucking happening. No fucking way is that happening, all right? We brushed over it before, so I'm just gonna take some of the greens out by even just desaturating a little bit. And then once all the saturation is down, I can even play with the colors maybe even bring a bit more blues into it. And also this wall here is kind of pissing me off with that purpley color as well. So I'm gonna grab my brush tool again and I'm just literally gonna go over the wall here, take some saturation out of it, not too much. All right, and that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. That's all done. Uh, export, just gonna go right click, export uh, my folder from the night. 
Go on to best, choose. Export quality at 100. Image format JPEG, color space sRGB. Resolution 100. Sharpen for screen amount standard. Export. So as you saw, I used one of my presets to edit this photo. If you want to grab my presets, they come in a pack of 20 with 20 walkthrough tutorials and 20 raw images for you to play around with and practice your editing on. Each one of the presets comes with a walkthrough tutorial that teaches you exactly how to use the presets and where to use them, like what kind of images to use them on. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely learned a lot going out by myself. It's quite challenging. I would actually kind of recommend doing this with a friend, but if you don't have a friend and you're just taking photos by yourself, that's how I started with photography. I just went out and shot by myself all the time. So this is kind of the shit that I got up to. It's kind of nostalgic. To be honest, it was a lot of fun. Feel free to take a picture like this. Like, I don't give a fuck if you copy a picture of mine or whatever, or you wanna try something that I tried, or me and the boys, whatever. If you if you wanna try something, just go out and try it. Like, we don't give a fuck. In the process of you going out and trying something, you'll definitely learn something or pick something up that's different. Or you just, you just learn something by going out and doing. So if you do try a shot like this, I'd love to see your work. Just tag me at North Borders on Instagram. And sometimes I get around to try and go through all my tag pictures and give it a like so I can see what you're up to. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below if you if you did, if you, if you fucking liked it, whatever. Uh, help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I'm on a really fucking awkward angle here on my table, but I will see you in the next one. Have a shit one and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Worst outro fucking sign up ever, whatever. You know what the best part about doing these tutorials are? I don't have to wear any fucking pants.